Let's see, I'll show you what I've done. I, I, I kind of wanted to do a stream of a stream. So I, I'm gonna change the camera to the front facing, something we rarely do. And I'll show you, this is, this is how I used to film things. Hey, Tom from Stytown. Whoops. Hey, so I used to use a, a pocket camera right on my, right on my uh, backpack. So this is how I'm streaming. I stopped doing that because, um, because, sorry, let me switch it back to the regular camera. Because uh, the bouncing is too much when it's not being held in your hand. Sharon Solomon, good morning. Arch, morning. ABX Pearl, good morning. But I thought it'd be interesting to record what it would look like, kind of first person view of streaming at the same time. Those of you who missed it, I, uh, well, I'm going to show it here like this so people can see it, but I decided to show what my perspective is from streaming walking around by going back to my original filming methods where I used a, well, actually, originally a DJI Osmo pocket strapped to my backpack. I'll show it one more time, right as we were out with the FDR. So see, I have it strapped to my backpack. And that's how I do it. And my microphones are actually strapped to my, uh, on the back of my backpack. Talking about Tim Holder. Lisa, you did not. Are you gonna see the trees blossom? Well, they're the greenery's coming in. Oh, I should have crossed. I'm a fool, okay. I lived in Boston for a year. I have not yet, I have not had the opportunity. We haven't had any, well, because I feel like dim sum is hard to eat, to go. And I don't know if those places will offer it. Tim Hoan does, or did, actually, actually closed last time I checked. But, uh, yeah, we haven't had the opportunity to really go out to eat anywhere with the baby. We're heading towards the bridge. Bedford Avenue has the entrance to it. Coming up. So we'll be walking over soon. Day train's ready. Making its way across. says 1896 to 1903 which should be the construction years and opening pretty well yeah pretty clear day a bit of a haze in the distance not so bad a little bit faster. There we go. It's beating me a little bit. A little bit. Okay, a little bit more. Let's 
a hill, hello. Joanna, we're floating in between girls. In Brooklyn and Manhattan. Types of opera, aria, like a recitative or something. Two styles of singing. Uh, I don't remember other stuff anymore about it. It was the J train, I believe. bridges in that direction. So the first bridge you see when I point it this way is the Manhattan Bridge, and then the Brooklyn Bridge is behind it. How many lanes are below me? <clears throat> uh, there's always been two on the inside, two on the outside, going in one direction. So two lanes on each of those. Um, but they are very narrow. <clears throat> and there's two under me in each inner and outer roadway. Although I believe the outer has one lane closed right now for construction. Alright, Nate, thanks for stopping by. I don't know what it looks like on mobile. I doubt it appears on any TV. First of all, I'm glad there are trash cans here. Second of all, I'm glad. Well, I'm not glad that they're full and almost over. Sean, you were watching Saunter. It's a long video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, Moon, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I just need to schedule it soon. I don't know if it's gonna be before we move or after, but we'll see. Again, we move at the end of April. Yeah, the volume, the sounds of trains can be quite loud. Maybe one day we'll be able to uh, figure it out. Well, the bullet trains in Japan are pretty quiet, aren't they? Aren't they like magnetic? Moon. I was thinking about that too. With George Carlin's uh, reason for moving, you you just keep moving into bigger and bigger places and filling it with more and more stuff until it's too full, and you got to move again to a bigger place. George Carlin is great. The France has some quiet trains too. Up almost no space. 
last part of the uh, the bridge. Teetering on the line of pedestrians and bikes. do that, I have more trouble returning things if I need to. So I don't know, I have to find the happy medium. Stopping by, make sure there's no bikes. There's only five seconds left to cross. Let's just take it because this is a very long light. I'm hoping we see some new billboards there that are going to show us some more interesting things. Wait, because they have a light. When we did this walk live at the end of December, and so it's become like a running theme on the channel. And I think that's around the time everyone was asking, "What shoes do I wear? What shoes do I wear?" And it was North Face shoes. North Face doesn't, North Face doesn't care yet. There's some blooming trees. Yeah, we should cross Rivington Street coming up. We can go down to Avenue C for a moment and then I'm going to walk up back to B, I think. Yep, that's right, Steve. And yeah, we do have quite a bit of Indian food. Oh, that's where we walked here before. Here's the alphabet. Let's see if we can just capture the whole alphabet here on the side of this building. I've been meaning to do that. Should wrap around the building. Oh, that S, the way we all used to draw an S in elementary school. All right. Oh, that W is the Wu Tang Clan W. Nice. All right. So we've done all that. South of that. We got a green light. Now we wait. Michael Scott Harris says it's a natural gas power plant. Dusty Cole, I think that's that's how I would spell it. Do I track my steps each day? Yeah, my watch tracks it. So interestingly enough, I found that my watch also tracks how many steps I take while I'm bouncing on a yoga ball, trying to get the baby to sleep. So even though I didn't do a stream yesterday, my watch thinks I walked 19,000 steps. I guess that also says how much I spent bouncing on that ball. Hello, I get hello. Here we go. Now I go up this way. Off the cross back anyway for the detour, unless they've made progress. Yes, Adam. And you get to see us go closer to the water again, which is uh, your favorite. Or Ralph, some people have stopped by while I was live streaming. For the most part, nobody's recognized me outside of streams. Shane, hello. Larry landing over here, 
first, I suppose. Uh, yeah, welcome. You see my walk pretty quickly, especially in the commuting days. So whenever, whenever we're commuting, we're going to be expected to be quick. that we don't walk by anymore because of the detour. Yeah, there's something about New York City coffee, isn't there, Tim? Especially from the street carts. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. Much darker than it was before. Remember, and if you look at the Instagram picture I took, they were much brighter a week ago. Misha, all right, enjoy the job. Hopefully the work day is easy but productive uh -huh. that's good this is in Peter Cooper village I think even I have logged this around here recently it's one of the hidden gems here. There's uh, this whole little section of cherry blossom trees. Cherry trees, I guess? Cherry blossoms. Somebody left the basketball. Well, dusty, best coffee you have in your mouth. A literal take on it, but I'll... Thank you, Janice. Strawberry fields, don't worry about it, you be you. Yep, Dusty 419 for the gas there. Unfortunately, long chicken legs get to come out too. Is the walkway open? I should be in the 50s right now, Susanna. Should be anyway. But I think Nightbot will let us know. Ah, a little quieter finally. We shall make it happen, big dog. Yes, hopefully. Trust in the heart of the cards. Sorry, that was a UVO reference. That's not right here, by the way. I haven't watched Brandon Harris, no. Have I been approached by the scammers? Um, the ones I've been approached by are uh, the fake monks, which are the least aggressive out of all of them, and the CD ones, the CD scammers. Those are the worst. They're very aggressive. And they shout profanities if you don't uh, either take the CD or just keep walking. Not off today, no germs. Yeah, the way they try to get you to do it uh, sometimes it's they'll like as you start walking by they'll say what's your name and they'll start writing it on the CD 
and they try to hand it to you. Oh, but I signed it. I put your name on it. But yeah, the, it doesn't matter if you own a CD player or not. But it's all about digital distribution. If they have real music on there, then it's all relative. It's usually best to never stop. That's why like, I usually just make it a... I, I pull a, a Tony Stark. I don't like things being handed to me. Yeah, once if they get it in your hand one way or another, then that that's that's the worst thing that can happen because now they're really gonna uh, swarm. That's a very nice day. FDR is moving pretty well for Monday morning. I wonder if a lot of people still took off. I've been up since like 4.30, so it almost feels like half the day is gone already. Just text usually yell and pick Latin and start hitting yourself to use the media alone. That probably makes sense to do. As long as you don't hurt yourself too much. There's a little tugger, the tugboat. Johnny, you too. Ah. For that kind of stuff, not really. I mean, action kid got to the point where one of them actually hit him. And it was really screwed up. And apparently the police didn't do anything. Even worse. Anyway, I don't want to be too... Yeah, Dutch White Blocker, that's the one I'm referring to. That's why I don't want to... It can be pretty negative, so I don't like bringing it up too much, but it's good to be aware of what goes on in New York. So general rule of thumb is just don't take anything handed to you if you're visiting. At least that's what I say. That's my personal view on the matter. And, and suggestion. Ah, we've got to the edge here pretty quickly. No helicopters today to watch. Take off. And don't tell them your name, right. Like it's better just to keep walking and don't say anything. Now you do gotta be careful with those uh, costumed crusaders in, in Times Square too. They can get pretty aggressive with their photos. Anyway. On a more positive note, it was a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day this morning in New York. We got to uh, walk over the bridge, started in Brooklyn, ending in Kipps Bay. Williamsburg Bridge was pink as usual. Maybe we'll do a repainting project as part of the street every Monday. We'll just walk with a paintbrush along and try to repaint it to a brighter pink. 